G'day and welcome back. Uh, today we're going to talk about timing belts, timing chains, specifically for the Ford 1.8 TDCI Lynx engine. Um, engine's been around a long time. Started off as non-turbocharged, went turbocharged, went common rail. Last long time, went from Escort, Fiesta, Focus, Mondeo, Transit, all sorts. Very, very common engine. Uh, now, I'll put a link to a couple of videos below for, by um, Alan Howard. He, he knows a lot about these engines, done a lot of work. Um, now, these engines, around somewhere in 2008, they swapped from a bottom timing chain that never needs changing to a bottom timing belt that runs in oil. Again, not going into detail. Check out Alan's videos. And uh, of course, this, this timing belt has a change interval. I'll put that, that up here. Uh, my car's got the timing belt. I need to change it. I don't want to change it for another belt that might fail. Uh, I want to change it for a chain. Now, FAI make a timing chain kit, uh, TCK122. Uh, my good friends at Lim Engine Parts, Simon there, uh, he sent me one over so I could make a video of the installation, all that kind of stuff. Now I had a spare couple of nights the other week and I gave it a go. I thought, I'd, well, well, can't be too difficult, can it? We'll uh, get the car up in, on, on stands, we'll start taking bits, things to pieces, we'll see if we can do a timing chain. Wow. Um, Certainly on the Focus, there's just no room to do anything. You can't get to any of the access points. You can't. It's just a mission to do it all. So that video is going to come. But in the meantime, we're going to look at this uh, FAI timing kit. Uh, now, Alan's videos, quite rightly, he recommends just get the Ford, Ford stuff. Go to Ford, spend more money. It'll be easy. Well, yeah, that's true. Uh, but these cars aren't getting any younger. There's plenty of years on them now. They haven't been made for probably five years or so. Um, and when when you hit the that kind of age, you kind of turn to the aftermarket. So that's why we got this FAI kit. And we're going to see just how easy it is to do. So, so as well as that bottom timing chain belt, you've also got a conventional belt at the top. <coughs> I'll show you what that looks like. That's a Gates. I've got a Gates one. That's just a piddly little timing belt. Uh, it's got a 125,000 mile interval or something silly like that. Yeah, something that small is not going to cause you too many problems. That's what she said. Uh, you've also got a new, whoa, a new uh, tensioner there. Um, so yeah. Right, so what else do you get in the in the gates kit? Well, we'll start off with gaskets. Uh, and you get two gaskets, but you need three gaskets. Gasket seals will plump it all together. So you've got the bottom, bottom crank seal. Now this is what's leaking on my car, which is kind of what prompted me to try and get it done the other week. Uh, this sits behind the crank pulley. Uh, it's a little fancy little doohickey. Uh, and you've also got this big seal that sits around the uh, injection pump. Big oil seal. You've got to change it when you do the job. It'd be silly not to. There you go. Now the one gasket that's not included in the FAI kit is this big timing cover gasket. It's a metal crush fit one. One time use. Make sure you get one of those. Uh, I think FAI or maybe just limb engine parts, they do a gasket kit that includes this and a few other gaskets that you might need. Make sure you get that. And I've also picked up a rocker valve cover gasket, rocker cover gasket, depending on which part of the world you're in. Uh, so yeah, probably need one of those. You might not. Might be able to reuse the one you've got there. And it also comes with tuber sealant. Now you'll see in Alan's video why you need that. Uh, yeah, it's quite a big tube of sealant for the little mat you need, but if someone's giving you a big thing of Durco, got to be happy with that. Right, so that was gaskets and seals. Uh, now whilst you're in, your, in there, you might as well change the water pump. If 
it's a real pain to get to otherwise you've still got to dismantle the same amount of stuff so uh, FAA FAI make a water pump WP6250 just a, just a water pump it can either be happy or sad depending on on its mood but yeah it's a water pump nonetheless you stick that in then we get down to the chain itself right now the Ford kit it's really cool because it comes all kind of assembled, ready to go. You just pop, pop one off, pop it on, job done. FAI, not quite so good. So you've got one chain here. Got another chain here. Got a small double row cog. Got a big double row cog. And you've got this set of guides. And... So this is what it should look like that's how we get ours so that's that's a bit of a headache because obviously there's things that need to line up and you've got to get it right so we'll see how it works out when I actually do the job but chances are I'll be taking it off very carefully the belt that is I'm trying to work out exactly where, what's going to go where now there's one other bit you need for the conversion itself and I've already attached it by these four four Allen head bolts there. Uh, there's also a little kind of see the four part number in there. There's a wee Ford dongle that sits inside this hub that gives it the right right clearance to to replace the wet belt. So yeah, again, it only goes on one way, but that one way wasn't really the way. I had it worked out, so I'll hold that there for you. There, that's the one way it does go on. So yeah, that's, it took me a while to get to get this kind of lined up and, and there is a bit of movement in there too, which again I've got to work that out exactly how it's going to work, but we'll get there. We've also got the tensioner. Uh, and again, Alan, in his videos, there's a difference between the, the chain ten tensioner and the belt tensioner. This is the dome end chain tensioner as opposed to the flat, flat bottomed uh, belt tensioner. So that's that's everything you need to do the job. That's a lot of parts there. Um, links down below to the Lim Lim website, so you can see see the kit, see what's going on there. Uh, and obviously these things you can't just hit them with a 10 mil spanner and do the job. You need some special tools. Um, I got the timing tool kit off eBay. It's something like. 74 New Zealand dollars. I'll see if I can find a similar kit, put it down below. And it's got a host of tools in there. Now, some of them you can probably do without or improvise. One of them in particular is pretty essential. So, we'll start with the ones we, the less essential ones. So, here's your timing locking pin. This goes into the crankcase, locks against the crankshaft. Gives you a Hitler moustache. Um, now my friend um, Terry Stusman, he uh, he did a video on his Ford timing belt. It's very similar to the setup he had there. Got this timing pin that slides in. If you've got the Haynes man manual, it tells you how you can make this up with some threaded rod and a couple of nuts. Sure, but that's the right tool. So that's locking the crank. For the cam, you've got a slotted bar. And when you take the valve cover off and line it up, this slots into a slot in the camshaft. And um, there you've set your cam and crank timing. Too easy. Well, that's, pr that's pretty much all the timing tools that you probably need. One extra tool that comes in this kit is a um, flywheel holding tool. So you take out the starter motor, jam that in do it up, nothing's going to move. So ideally, that's what I wanted to use when I tried doing this the other week, but even trying to get the starter motor off that car is an absolute nightmare. There's just no room, you can't even reach the bolts, so you don't have to use this. Again, check out Alan's videos, uh, but I wanted to just because I didn't want anything to move. And I'm not a professional mechanic. I don't really know what I'm doing. I just kind of make it up as I go along, but uh, 
yeah, I wanted to use it. I didn't use it. I probably won't use it, but I might use it. Now, the one tool that's stuck in the box is probably the, the most critical you actually go and buy is this one here. This has got a threaded piece. It's got a, a twirly whirly and it's got a dongle on the end. Uh, this is this is for aligning the timing cover, uh, so that when you mount this crank seal, it's mounted in the correct place. Um, you've got to slide this on with the uh, timing cover on loose, and it aligns the aligns the cover. When you put this in, it stops it from leaking, or prevents premature leaking. It happens with age. Uh, so yeah. That's the one tool that's probably the most critical you go and buy. Uh, I'm not sure how easy it would be to mock up something to do the same job. But uh, get the right tools. They're not too expensive. And that's, that's pretty much all your part, parts you need. Um, as I say, trying to do this over a couple of nights, I, I barely got... To the point where I could actually start timing up the engine it's just there's no room to do anything so the video of doing it's going to come I'm not sure how much I'm going to how much detail I can actually show you because it's a bit going to be well my fingers didn't fit so the camera's not going to fit but we got, we'll do our best we'll uh, do our best to make a good video out of it uh, certainly Alan's video of doing it outside the car makes it look nice and easy and it might be easier on a Mondeo it might be easier in a transit but on a Focus it's a mission, but we will get there because we want the chain as opposed to the belt in there. And again, we'll put a have a good shout out to our friends at Lim Engine Components. He's my go-to guy for engine parts. Uh, Simon there at all the major brands. Uh, he knows what he's knows what he's on about. He's on Instagram, puts up some interesting pictures. Um, yeah, he's supplied parts for the Golf. He supplied me the um the focus bits and uh we'll make some good videos and see what else we can get into um but yeah so all the links down below <coughs> now obviously i haven't done this job yet i'll be doing it in the coming weeks no months probably <laughs> got to finish the goal first i need to do that need to do it down here so it'll be coming um if you've done this before on a focus or you've got any tips tricks how to's uh, get in touch badgertronics at gmail.com links down below love to hear from you love to see what, what insight you can give me uh, all I know from my research so far is it's a little bit painful but we will get there and we'll make a video about it and when I stuff it up you'll all laugh but there we go so that's the FAI kit. Uh, I did reach out to them on Facebook. I sent them a message and they were going to get back to me with some technical info. They never did, but what can you do? Um, so yeah, that says something about their technical support. But there we go. So we'll see you when we get into this. Comment, like, subscribe. If you know what, know what you're doing more than I do, drop us a line and we'll uh, go from there. Cheers.